is for the Pledge of Allegiance. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Corona. I'm Kaylin. And as many of you know, last week, last Friday, we lost Fabian Ramirez in a fatal motorcycle collision. At this time, if we could all please bow our heads and have a moment of silence. Donations for his funeral will be taken in room J8 and H8. And there is also a fundraiser going on now at Border Grill. But first, but now let's get on with the current report. High school. I'm Alex and I hope you guys are all having a great day today. So later on in the show we will have four red ribbon representatives and also a video on the iPhone 5. But first let's get on with the first set of announcements. Want to be part of the haunting of Corona? Come by C4 to talk to Mike Richards. He'll be wearing his unique jacket so you know who he is. Come by before the end of the month or you're gonna miss out. Do you want to sweeten up kids Halloween and or community service hours? Then bring in Halloween candy by this Wednesday to room J8. Don't forget. Community service, there are ghost walking men. Friday, Saturday, the 26th and the 27th in downtown Riverside from 6 to 11 p.m. Sign up in room J8 for shifts. If you get community service hours, it's going to be awesome. See you there. Hey, Puentista, slowly a Puente meeting in the library tomorrow, Tuesday, October 23rd. Don't be late. Thanks, guys, for those announcements. Now let's take it outside with Alondra and four red ribbon representatives. Hi, Kaylin. Thanks for that. Well, I'm outside with Bianca, Amelia, Samantha, and Troy to kick off Red Ribbon Week. So what is Red Ribbon Week? It's to encourage kids not to do drugs because I don't think they know how bad drugs are to the future, so we try to inform them now so they don't have to go through life and learn about it the hard way. So how did it start? Well, back in 1985, an undercover narcotics cop by the name of Enrique Camarina was killed after an attempted drug bust. At, uh, during his funeral, everyone, per everyone present wore red ribbons on their shirts to signify all the bloodshed that drugs cause. So what's going on for Spirit Week? On Tuesday, be a twin and win against drugs. Wednesday, wear pink or red. And Thursday, dress in your sports attire. Friday, wear your red panther gear to X out drugs. So make sure you dress out. And it's the best meat is drug free. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Alondra. Now let's go on with our second set of announcements. All right, so Spirit, Shirt, Spirit Club is uh, selling shirts for $10. Come buy them. Yeah, come to the studio store and buy them. The cutoff date is November 2nd. Hey, remember to wear pink on Wednesdays this whole month of October and with the card in, in support of breast cancer. Hey, do you have first one? Yes. Um, do you like chicken nuggets? Who doesn't? Well, if you want to compete, come tomorrow to the competition for October 23rd. Sounds like a plan. It is. Today. Thanks, guys. As you all know, the iPhone 5 just came out, and our very own Josh Carrillo made a video to inform you of what the iPhone 5 has to offer. Please enjoy the music while your party is reached. The means of communication have evolved slowly over the past 150 years. From the ancient telegraphs to the... Yeah, right. Introducing, Introducing the all-new all iPhone, iPhone 5. 5. With an all-new 4-inch screen, a thinner and lighter design and faster specs, this is truly the phone of the 21st century. We caught up with a few students to find out their first impressions. The iPhone 5 seems lighter than the 4S. And... The screen's a lot bigger. Huh. I like how it's like 
You don't get a lot of glare on it. It's really nice. I like it. Uh, it's like tall, taller. Um, it's thinner. I feel like I'm gonna break it though. Like, I don't. I don't really feel a difference. Um, it's an iPhone. So I guess it's just like the feeling of it. But um, as far as like actual use, um, it's really not. It's not a difference. After a few weeks with the iPhone 5, I can truly say that this is a phone worthy of being in your pocket. Even though that there are competitors out there, nothing matches the superb quality and design of Apple's greatest. For the Corona Report, I'm Josh Carrillo. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Josh, for that awesome video. Now let's, well, that was our show for today, guys. I hope you all have a great day. I'm Kaylin. And I'm Alex. Thanks for watching the Corona Report.